Okay, now in this uh, video, as in of the series, I'm going to teach you how to start a body paragraph. As in we have thought about it, as in I have thought about it, you've seen me thinking about it. When I, you know, in the first video itself, and I had come to this conclusion that I do not like this uh, uh, era as the best one. So, and then we wrote the introduction, as in when I told you, as in, again, I gave a generic overview of the current state of affairs. So, as I've told time and again in my videos that uh, you should be you know explaining a point in a paragraph and uh, supporting it with an example the best way to do it so i'm going to tell you as in how to think as in we have thought about it as in we came across many ideas corona pandemic and uh, maybe the corruption thing and the uh, joke afterward but it doesn't mean that you should make a pudding of everything that you have thought in your mind and uh, you know stuffing it into a body paragraph you should stick to something singular because overgeneralization in IELTS essays is something of a poison. So do not do that. So I will take only one aspect to prove my point. And I've taken one, air pollution. So when I've thought that uh, air pollution is the thing, and my end goal is to prove it, that, uh, you know, that because of the air pollution levels, the current scenario is not the best one. And if, I, if I'm saying that this is not the best one, that means there are some uh, scenarios uh, which are better than the, which, which have been better than this one. And the basis of that comparison should be air pollution. Now, whenever you think about an idea and where you have to explain it, you should be considering the starting point and the ending point. So my starting point is that I have to take air pollution as the basis. And my end point is that because of that air pollution, I have to prove that this scenario is not the best. There were some times that were better than this one because of the phenomenon. So when you explain something to someone, try to, uh, you know, write or maybe try to speak those intermediate stages. They are going to be the explanation. So, for instance, uh, you have to explain to someone that uh, uh, fast food is bad for health. So when you say that to an adult, he would understand the intermediate stages. You do not have to, um, you know, speak them or you do not have to write them. But suppose you're telling this to a kid who is just uh, seven years old. So you have to explain to him as in the intermediate stages also, like when he eats um, fast food, there are going to be some chemical reactions in his stomach and they, they are going to make him fat. They are going to make him ill or they are going to do something else to his um, you know, physiology or anatomy maybe. So these are the things that are going to prove to him that eating fast food is hazardous. You didn't have to say all these things to maybe an adult because he can understand the intermediate stages. So when you're writing an essay, try to write it in a way that uh, you are explaining something to a three year, a seven year old kid. Now that is what I'm gonna do with the scenario that I've spoken before. So I'm gonna tell you as in how, because of the levels, um, previous times, maybe some previous times were better. So see, a reason for my not considering today the best era is the massive rise in air pollution levels. This is something my point is. Um, you know, the, this is something what my point is about. Then I'm going to explain it. Clearly, the technological and transportation advancements of this world have contaminated its environment to very dangerous levels. Less developed but environmentally purer times were indeed better scenarios overall. So I've told uh, the you know the reader that. Uh, because there were uh, purer times, they were overall better. Maybe they didn't have advancements. Maybe they didn't have um, all these gadgets and all, but they were actually better because of the purer environments. Fine. So in the next video, I'll tell you how to write an example to support this paragraph. But up to this point, I hope everything is clear. See you.